Item number SCP-3866 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures All known instances of SCP-3866 are to be kept in a secure container at Site-23. Testing may only take place if a long-term humanoid containment pod is available. Description SCP-3866 refers to a group of unmarked pharmaceutical tablets recovered during the raid of an amateur medical facility in Palm Beach, Florida. See Addendum SCP-3866-1 for details. Ingestion of SCP-3866 causes the subject to immediately enter a hibernation-like state, lowering brain activity immensely, and slowing the subject's heartbeat to approximately one beat every 34 days. It is currently unknown exactly how long an individual can survive in this state, although estimates project that a human can survive for at least 3,000 years. This assumes the subject is a baseline human, and is given an adequate oxygen and nutrition supply. There is no known method to achieve this state with modern medical equipment. Addendum SCP-3866-1 On April 18, 2000, MTF Epsilon-6 Village Idiots commenced an investigation of an unnamed amateur medical facility offering euthanasia in Palm Beach, Florida. The majority of the patients who approached the facility sought physician-assisted suicide. The investigation was initiated after the onset of an Omega K-class end-of-death scenario. Due to the nature of the scenario, it was necessary to determine if the operation was fraudulent or anomalous. Monitoring of the facility showed that the operation was, to some degree, both fraudulent and anomalous. It did not terminate the patients, and what results it did achieve were obtained through anomalous means. Once patients ingested SCP-3866, employees of the facility would bury the body behind the facility. MTF Epsilon-6 raided the facility on April 29, 2000, and apprehended all personnel. This included the leader of the operation, Jacob Postman. A series of text messages were recovered from Postman's phone between him and an individual labeled in Postman's contacts as Dato, denoted below as the text in red. Okay, I was told to message you directly about details about the medicine, but just making sure. You talked to Alex Bennings, right? Yes, spoke with Benning. Good talk. So, are you able to make pills for euthanasia? Euthanasia? Why you need Asian pills? No, like… like pills used to putting people down. Like cyanide? Sorta, but less painful, like a peaceful sleep. Oh, yes, yes, I have pill for you. Longest sleep. Good. How long do you think it will take to get the first batch to me? Depends on weather. I don't like rain. What's rain gotta do with it? No fun walking in rain. Would have to deliver on different day. Wait, are you delivering them yourself? By foot? You asked how long for me to get to you. No, like, how long until you had the pills made? Oh, they done. Really? Yes. And they work? Hamsters still asleep. Wow, you really do work as fast as they say. This is why you trust Dato. Alright, we'll come pick them up then. You got somewhere to meet? Ask Bidding. Be there soon. Okay. See you there in an hour. Interrogation of Postman yielded the exact address of the meeting. At the address was a small apartment containing only a phone, a half-eaten donut, three empty Amazon delivery boxes, and a mattress. Addendum SCP-3866-2 Between July 3, 2000 and July 6, 2000, civilians reported vocalizations from the area behind the medical facility, generally in the form of screaming, weeping, or retching. Investigation into the disturbance determined that the noise was caused by 541 buried ex-patients of the medical facility, 491 of whom had been buried without a casket. After the patients were exhumed, medical personnel extracted all soil, minerals, and insects from their bodies to remove evidence of the event. Personnel then administered the patients amnestics, and returned them to society with appropriate cover stories. Thank you.